Hello and welcome to the Pope Love New, and welcome back to Security Breach, uh, where we left off last time. We had just explored the hidden secrets of Balloon World, and found the daycare attendant's backstage area. But now, for our 19th episode, we're going to find and listen to all the CD locations uh, in the game. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. So our goal here for this episode is to explore the Monty area with all the um with all the gates that we've never been able to access and also achieve every single C D and listen to all of them. Uh after the episode I'm probably gonna try and get all the collectibles just for my sake, so I'll put in any um notes that I find uh, on the way. So we're back at the daycare because I think I we visited here last episode, so uh, let's head forward. So our first CD are the ones we haven't got because I think we've already gone four. So our first one is going to be if the elevator loads in. Uh, we're gonna head to Rockstar Row and uh, right near the I don't know if we have gone the Bonnie the one near the Bonnie and Freddy like cartoon cutouts. Freddy and Friends cutouts, so we'll have a look there, because I don't remember grabbing it, but I don't remember seeing it either, so, we'll double check, um, yeah, so, I do apologise for not being Balloon World yesterday, in, in, in the last episode, because it was just really painful, my like Princess Quest I can do fine, but Balloon World, there's just something about it that's incredibly suck at. So it's just um really annoying. So there we go. The goal is to find the CDs as quick as possible in efficient time. And so Roxy. Is that Monty? No, that's Roxy. Before that was Monty for a second, I'm like, Monty, how'd you get legs back? So I Monty's still turning around Monty Golf. Because Monty can now be stunned in his um in his broken state, he can be stunned. If you remember correctly. Okay, so where's some of the star blocks? What was that? Okay. Come on. Alright, Freddy. Oh god, where are you, Freddy? There you are. Come on. Let's hop in. So it should be right behind us. There is something here. Okay. And there's another retro CD. Win. Okay. So we're going to head to this way and recharge free at the recharge station. And there's another one in the actual Rockstar Row itself. Which is our next uh, CD target. So enter and recharge Freddy. So we're all good. With that max power. Still 515 because we're stuck in the time loop. And head over to our left to find Rockstar Row. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it should be. No, it's here. There's a healthy cutout somewhere. There's someone pretty over here. Ready? There you are. Pretty pow, pretty pow chum. Is it here? No, okay. We got, I think it's at the other end. So I'm just gonna sprint down. And get that. So previously, before one of the updates, um, it was bugged. And you couldn't actually um, get two of the CDs, but they fixed that. Okay, where? I still can't believe they put the showtime button here. That's just, that's, that's just cruel. Where is this healthy cutout that I'm missing? So I think I remember seeing a copy. Somewhere. I think it's that one. Freddy, there you are. Alright. It's not that one. 
Is there another helpy I'm missing? Is it that helpy? There it is. There's the CD. Okay. That's it. Okay, there's also one in the Kraken monster just over this way. Which I missed. I need a pretty condensed area. They're not exactly um, far apart, which is good. Okay. Come on, come on. We can do it. Oh, I just missed the Kraken monster. Where am I going? Cracker monsters right here. Ready? Let's see, what is one up there? Oh my god. There you are. Right. Uh, there it is. Let's get that CD. So, why isn't the Helpy CD look different? It wasn't silver. It looked like the image there. It had like a sort of greyish rim. Right, I'm gonna head over to Kids Cove. So we head back to where we came. Pop down and visit Monty Golf. Good old Monty Golf. Just like, I wish you could actually like play. Like I think there's there's like an arcade version of Monty Golf that you can play. But I wish you could actually play like the um the proper. It's not the right way. Okay. Oh, I went the completely wrong way, didn't I? I think this was still the best way to do it. No, but that's that stage. Okay. Um, but like a, I know you can buy like a mini game version, but even with racing, I'm not gonna go. Come on, Rockstar. Oh, there we go. But you could do like a. Like, um. Actually, like, race. Or like, actually, bowl and bonnie bowls, or actually, um. It does really add to the atmosphere of the whole place. Like, I guess this is a. I guess it kind of makes sense. Because we're not supposed to be able to do it after hours. Is it this way? I think this is way. I don't remember. Um. I like, it makes sense that you can't actually do it because, like, after hours and everything's closed, but. Like. I feel like the, also the mazer size puzzle could be redone. That one's pretty, pretty jarring compared to the rest of the game. Monty's one is also really the only like proper boss fight, in particular. Like um, everything else, like Chica's one's a sort of like slight mini game, and Roxy's one is just a, just a fetch quest. Like Monty's the only one that had, you actually sort of verse in a sort of one-on-one -on -one boss fight to the scenario. Um, I'm still hoping for Princess Quest I need to get fixed, so there's, gonna be, there's probably going to be a large gap between the um, the 19th and 20th episodes. Okay, I'm looking for a half-open treasure chest. Oh, there it is. I'm ready. So sometimes it says enter and sometimes it says hide. So does that depend so depends whether the game recognizes animatronic? Okay. There's an SAD. I'm gonna head all the way up to maze size. Find one of the solar machines in Freddy's mouth. Keep on. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, Freddy. Okay, let's keep on climbing. I don't want to drain too much power as Freddy. Because that's just unnecessary. Um, I wish we could see more of the day curtain as well. Particularly after, because he really only appears during like the final, like the hours. Like, even then, or even more of sun. Like, just to balance out the fact with, um, I do like how he shoots you out of the daycare place if you choose to go in there again. Alright, come on, Freddy. Need you over here. There we go. 
Right. Turn it around. That's a spin. Oh, there's a gift over there I haven't got. I'll remember that for later. But yeah, I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna show me gain on the collectibles. That's just gonna. That's just gonna be painful. Like this. It doesn't achieve anything. Like the the law. Like the the gift bags. Like the yeah. Like the law bags. I'll show. They actually have some sort of like relevance. But if you want to see like the the gift boxes. Then, uh, I guess try and find some other place. Or if we get like a request to do it, like, someone says, "Hey, leave a comment and be like, yo, I want, I want to see the rest of the gift boxes. I'll do it. But if no one does, then no gift boxes for any of you." Okay, so that's major size ones done. And now I want to head over to uh, Phaser Blast. Oh. Playing Phaser Blast is pretty fun. I gotta say, that was uh, that, that 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 that's what I fe that's what I felt like. Um. That's what it felt like when it was like, play the um, that's like that's the atmosphere of like the whole. There's a more like you can pl like you actually play laser tag and that's really fun. But also doesn't remove the influence of the animatronics because Cheek is still after you. So it's like there, but at the same time not. Like it still has the atmosphere of oh uh, the animatronics are after you, but it also contains the fact that like. Oh, it's a mall, and you're playing laser tag. That's pretty cool. Um, I wish I could vary which animatronics were after you in the main sections, because Roxy seems to only patrol the main hallway. From dusk till dawn. And she, despite being supposedly good at hearing, she's pretty deaf. Like she's just patrolling the middle section. It's really only get caught by a staff bot at this section. For a trophy display case. I don't know whether that's at the start, or whether it's at the end, or whether it's. Um, I can't remember seeing a trophy display case somewhere inside, but I don't think you can take it down the elevator, can you? Freddy, did you? Freddy, where are you? Okay, Freddy's just magic at this point. He's he's not confined by the limitations of our reality. Where's this trophy case? Oh, there it is. Found it. That's another one done. Next up is one located in Roxy Raceway. Oh god. Oh. That's Monty. Wait, mommy Monty a cheek I was chasing up. I didn't check. Because I'm just like, nope. I'm out of there. I don't have time for that. Just, I, don't, I don't have time to die. Um, Alright, so we're we'll off to Roxy Raceway. Yeah. There's one in the salon. At, I don't know, Roxy Raceway 2, so we'll get that one there. I think that's not in all of the list. We'll, um, we'll get it anyway. Just because it's close by and easy to grab. Ready? Um, did you thought it might be in here. Nope. Oh no, it is here. I knew it. I knew there was something to do with this Dodger Mario when I first saw it. It just looked, it just looked so suspicious. Compared to everywhere else in the game. I should know there was going to be a CD there. Okay, that's that one done. And then we're going to head over to Roxy Rate uh, the salon, actually, in Roxy's Rest Way. Because that holds our next scene here. Okay, you start off, but don't mind me. Sprinting away from you at high capacity. Now 
the start bot. Dodge carefully. We're going to need Freddy for this one because Roxy's waiting for us. Just up ahead. Okay, so. Oh, the. F okay. Seems like, like a Photoshop setup. Which I think I know where. Hey, Roxy. I'll be honest, I have no clue why she spawns there. It's really weird. Like, it's such an odd location to, um... I uh, mean, this spawn in. I just want to hop out of here. Have a feeling I'm... Drain his power too fast. This way. The, the, this salon is also under, underused. I, I feel like it could be used more. And I feel like this could be used for like the good ending of the game. Like, like, it, like you can use it to repair the animatronics. And make Roxy look like beautiful or something. Like you would have to fix like essentially the animatronics like problems. It's like my Gronty, like Monty, you fucking being that sort of asshole. Or like, um. Okay, is it up here? Is the Photoshop saying outside? I think it's the one outside. Yeah, I see it. I see the faint outline on the map. Which is where we're going. There it is. And we'll grab that. Next up, there's one in West Arcade and one in Bonnie Bowls. And then one in Monty Mini Golf as well, which will be up. I'm trying to think. Well, out of the ones that aren't in the main tunnels, is. We're going to have to recharge Freddy again. I reckon. Well, we'll head up to Bonnie Bowls, I reckon. If not, I've, already got, I've already gone to one in Bonnie Bowl. Uh, we'll head up to. Head to Monty's mini golf, I reckon. This is on the set level. Nope. What a lag. Okay, we're good. Oh, hey, stop on. There's a Monty guy there. Let's see that. Um. So my opinion, I know, I know which one I like more. Alright, let us continue onwards. And uh, come with me, Freddy. We're off to send some carriers here. First, I want to bring you to Jimmy's man. Please let there be some dialogue. Any dialogue? Aww. There's going to be some nice dialogue. There's some dialogue with him, maybe go to Bonnie's, um, place. So I was hoping that there'll be, like, some dialogue with, um, Jimmy Music Man. DJ Music Man is honestly one of the best characters in this. Hey, yeah, Chica. Just exploding for no reason. CD should be just up ahead in this room. That's what I'm getting at. As long as the second from the right, in which case it's this red room, it seems to be the case. Um. Is I'm missing where the karaoke rooms are? It's are the karaoke rooms, right? It should be the karaoke rooms. Aha, there we are. What was the second one here? Okay. Interesting how Freddy's room is all glitchy. Let's grab that. And then the last one we need to grab is over in Monty's mini doll. The ones that aren't in the maintenance tunnels anyway. Let's go up here before Freddy loses power. 
really this trigger can be easily stopped with um the Phaser Blaster. She's pretty like she becomes much less of a threat once you get it, in my opinion. Or almost all animatronics do. The only one who doesn't is Monty, but he dies as he loses his ability as soon as he gets stunned. Not stunned, uh, defeated in this boss battle. So it's like, um. Uh, okay, so last one's Monty's Mini Golf. And then we'll uh, head over to the maintenance tunnel, which is uh, at the very start of the day. very start of the game, which is where I think the room to read them is. Because if you remember, I think back in the backstage and breakthrough troubles, I think that was the episode. Um, we found the uh, it was like a purple slab that we couldn't access because it was behind a Monty gate. I think it's that purple slab that will lead us to the uh, the hidden room. Where we find out where that these tapes are, or what these tapes say, or contain, or whatever other word you want to use to describe whatever could be in this tape. Reveal. It's like Freddy is actually a crying child. It's like wow, what a horrible fan food. Or Gregory is actually William Afton. This game actually takes place in the past. The staff bots are actually the missing children. You know, I can keep going. No, no, just keep getting worse. Staff bots are actually um, the shadow animatronics. Remember the shadow animatronics? God, they were. They were something. I don't have any clue what they were, actually. Now, what were them? Who knows? Um. Oh no, the star bots are actually the nightmares. That's right. Don't ask me how. Monty's Gator Golf is a uh, is a is a metaphor for the missing children's incident. Because they were all playing golfing and they all died horribly. Freddy in we go. Let's head. Do some golfing. Okay, so where is it? It's towards the golf hole above the balcony. I don't know what balcony that is. This is a really vague guide. What is mini golf? It's obviously somewhere, and that's where we're going. We head up, look at the maintenance tunnels, listen to it, and we're done. And at the end, I'll probably include a Actually, I might include the. I'll probably include the rest of the lore bags in the Princess Quest episode because that just makes the most sense. Because I feel like this one's going to go on for a bit longer, and the Princess Quest one is going to be pretty short. Or maybe shorter than usually, because there's only three mini games. And the Princess Quest will probably be the finale, because that rounds it off in a nice 20 episodes total, which is good. Go for the golf hole above the bow. There's a gift in there. I'm look for a CD. I'm look for which balcony it's talking about. Nor will I probably ever know. While we're here, I might as well just get these gifts. Or this gift, at least. Oh, God. Is there even any... Do I just pick up an entire go-kart? How does it even work? Oh, there's a law bag right there. 
There you are. You wanted low bags, you get low bags. Pick up this little bag and see what it says. What does it say? What does it say? Let's find out. Messages. No flash photography. Warning. No flash photography. Items will be confiscated and kept in the Monty Golf Security Office. Wow. That's what I call intense law. See, the flash, the flash photography cameras are often... The it's actually a metaphor for uh, mediocre melodies. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop with that. It's last hole. So there should be this hole here. I think so. Yeah, there it is. Grab that. CD number is this 14. Maybe two left at the um the maintenance tunnels and we should be golden. Okay, so we are now at the uh utility tunnels. So let's get these final two CDs and explore the whole Monty Gate scenario. Because there are a lot of Monty Gates down here. Make sure we get every single one. Oh. Look, there's only one there. We have no clue what that is. It's a golden plushie. It's a really barren area. I think it's a golden plushie, I'm pretty sure. And gone rocks here. Oh, we'll come on, Freddy. Let's keep on going. Down the stairs we go. Plus baby room? No. Okay. Alright. And this one this way. There's a Monty Gate over here. So let's uh, break that open. Oh, a law bag. Oh, this has been blind and flush. There's a couch up here. Yeah, there is. Oh, I'll grab the CD. Yoink. And let's grab the bag. See if there's anything law important. Missing. Security report, 12.24 a.m. Bonnie is seen leaving his green room in Rockstar Row, heading east towards the atrium. 2.40 a.m. Bonnie enters the East Arcade. 4.12 a.m. Bonnie enters Monty Golf. And I presume he is insane after. So something happened to Bonnie. Presumably in Monty Golf. It's weird how that's locked behind that area. Like, oh no, okay, so we have one last. It's a couch somewhere with an abstract Freddy drawing on it. Okay, just keep 
Keep behind me, buddy. Got a multi guy here. Let's bust it open. Inside. Our bunker. Okay, so this is just weird. What is this room? Wait, this is the... Oh, this is a Curse of Dreadbear reference. No, but the very start, uh, uh, in Curse of Dreadbear, there's like a... This is like the menu screen, I think. Like, it shows the projector. I was wondering, why is there like a bunch of trees on the ground? So this whole like downstairs area is just a reference to help wanted. Let's keep on moving. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure there's a recharge station up ahead. I think. If not, I hope there is. Okay, so there's the weird purple door. We're gonna skip it for now. It's that way. I'm pretty sure I know where the, um, where the, uh, what's its face is. There's no way heading to the Monte Still 515. Yes, yeah, is a reference to the Mangle Affair. Also in Help Wanted. Dead help is his error. Gift. Oh. Okay, there's nothing in there. Can I like collect the gift inside Freddy? Find his horses. Freddy help us. Supposed to reach this gift. Aha, there we go. Moon figure. Now I could fall into that giant bat there, but we're not going to do that. It's generally considered a bad idea. So we're going to retry to again. It's not the way where the weird purple door is. Uh, somewhere else. I don't think so. We are going to save though. Wow. It's a giant piece of copper. Lovely. Okay. Um, let's save and then let's head to the, uh, the final tape and then grab the uh, listen to all the CDs. Bathroom moment. Sure, I know. I know where the Freddy couch is. Here it is. So I never pointed it out. I'm like, wow. Wow, that's a great one to play. Oh no, I already got this one. So what am I missing? I think I already have them all then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already have them all. Okay, so now we're just trying to find a... Gonna access that room there. I think it's this way. If not, I have to look it up. That's right, it's beyond this way, there's another... The hell does? Why is there meat hooks? Damn, that's brutal. Yeah, down we go.
Wait, let's find the cartoon thing. Okay, well, we have another law bag, so let's grab that and read that. Torn paper. It is there, but you can't see. Alone in the dark, I found the key. Huh? Would you have a clue to open the door? It's a wall with a note that refers to a hidden room. Use the Faz camera to take a picture of the wall. It refers to the hidden door. This wall? I'm taking a picture of. Oh my god. Sorry, Freddy. Oh, this is this is location TV. Oh my god. Let's find that one. Loop forever. Oh. That's obviously something. Okay, apparently that thing says Break and mend, I built the breath, they hunt now, drawn to life, not real, still me, and frit. And fraught with fort and zest, and guess no blunt woes. Dodge, duck, flash, shoot, crawl, run, crush the vile band. Cry not, try not, do not hold out hope, no. Your life, your aim, will save those with soul. Alright, well, let's give the. Hello, Vanessa. Okay, How are you feeling today? You look a little tired. Hmm. Well, it's been a while since we last spoke. How's your anxiety been? You did so well with your calming protocols when we first worked together. Are you still using those? Yes? Okay, good. Well, now I understand there's a new issue. It came on just recently, rather suddenly. Can you tell me about it? What issue? I've been doing my job. I come in and sit at my desk and do my work. Yes, yes, of course you do. Your performance reviews are good. But a routine check of your online history has revealed that you've spent quite a bit of time with someone in an encrypted conversation. So We've must transcripts, be the, um, and I've read them. But it's FAR not clear emails. what you're talking about in these conversations. I can't make sense of it. Maybe? You must be getting something from these that I'm not getting, right? Who are you talking to in these? No one. Sometimes I talk with Lewis. He's in the marketing department. Yeah, Lewis was the one from He's the... nice, I guess. Yes, I see Lewis here. But there's someone else. There's someone else? I presume that's Glistrap. Okay, I should play the second Good morning. one. Isn't it a pretty day? No. What's the matter? Oh, right. Too bright. I'll pull the shades. Better. When the shades pulled, it feels like we're in a cubbyhole or a cave. Yeah? Hmm. So you're not talking to me again today. This isn't all that productive, you know. Don't you think the sessions are more successful when you talk to me? You know everyone associated with this company gets performance reviews, right? When my sessions don't get results, my reviews aren't very good. If you don't want to talk for your own sake, how about for mine? You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I could be put in the corner for a time out. Yeah, you think that's funny, huh? That's a different person. Still the same therapist, but a different person. Alright. Something about they're not talking. And... I seem to be a kid, because of the cubbyhole cave analogy. Alright, let's put the third seat in. Hi. Go ahead. Sit down. I don't know you. What happened to... Oh, we'll get to know each other in no time. I've read through all your files, so I feel like we've been talking for weeks. I feel like I know your dad, too. Bill, right? Your dad's name was Bill? Bill. 
I'm sorry. What did you say? I try to do what I'm supposed to do. I know you do. Your supervisor notes that you follow instructions perfectly. Your dad made you follow instructions, didn't he? I'm talking about the custody battle between your mum and your dad. Your dad didn't play fair, did he? He used to make your mum look bad in court. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Do you want to talk about how that felt? I suppose I don't need you to tell me it felt bad to have a parent scare you into saying things that weren't true. He manipulated you. It wasn't your fault. It's really sad. But it's common for one parent to use their child to hurt the other parent. I know your mum... after she lost the custody case. I was supposed to be a good girl. What happened to her had nothing to do with you. Even though it was your testimony that did it. Was that testimony true? No, I didn't think so. But your dad is to blame. Not you. Okay, so that was about Vanessa's, like, backstory. Um, seems her mum and dad divorced and she was used by her dad in a custody battle. And her mum killed herself after the testimony that she gave to make herself look bad. So let's do CD number four. You're not going to talk to me? No? What's the problem? Oh, the flowers? Yes, these are particularly fragrant today, aren't they? I'll move them. There. Now, let's see. What are you looking at? You're amazingly alert, aren't you? All right. Well, I'd like to have you tell me about yourself. But I can see that you're not going to do that. Or are you? All right, then. If you aren't going to talk to me, I'll just go by these notes. You just sit there and be comfy. Or not. That chair doesn't really fit you, does it? Well, this won't take long. Let's see. Your previous counselor is no longer available. Does that bother you? No? You don't look surprised to see me sitting here instead of your last therapist. Well, then, let's get to it. I'll admit that some of what's in your file is a little surprising. Overall, you don't come across as a troublemaker. But if you read between the lines, it's clear that you have a little rebellious side, right? And I'm surprised by your knowledge of computers. You're something of a phenom. Do you know what that word means? It means you have unusual skill. Like a hacker. I assume you know what a hacker is. Yes? Do you think of yourself as a hacker? Okay. That's interesting. Because immediately the flowers draws me back to FNAF 4. With the crying child... Or the... In the, in the mini games. Not the mini games. The actual gameplay on the side of the bed of the flowers. But if that's the case... I don't think this is talking about Gregory because that's really weird because well, for the ending the bad ending like the leave ending we find that Gregory is a homeless kid so how would he have gone to a therapist let alone the same one that Vanessa seems to be going to and also a hacker like Gregory doesn't hack anything to the game the only computer he uses is the um the one in the parts and service which is a simple office computer I want to say it. I don't know it kind of sounds like it's like William Afton. I know I know it sounds crazy, but it's just it's like a absolute chaos theory. But it kind of feels like it's William Afton. Because remember there was a post by like um on the Reddit that showed like a child, and I feel like that maybe that relates to this. Anyway, let's play CD number five. Good morning, Vanessa. Let's jump right in, shall we? I got a message last night about you, and I have to be honest, it was upsetting. Apparently, the IT department has put together a pretty lengthy report 
chronicling non-job-related communications that have been coming to your computer. The fact that you're still doing something obviously not work-related on the job is disturbing enough, but what bothers me about what I read is that the messages you're getting seem very manipulative in nature. Do you know who I'm talking about? I get a lot of messages from friends. I like when Lewis writes to me. He's funny. I'm not talking about Lewis. You know who I'm talking about. Why won't you open up about it? What you might not know is that this person who's been sending you messages has been hacking into your personal files too. These are the same files I have here. These files are full of details about your life. Do you know what that means? I'm not in the tech department. I just type on the computers. I know that. But what matters here is that this person who is contacting you knows a lot about you. Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. Okay, that was also interesting. So, I presume the other person's will aim after an old glitch trap. They've hacked into information on Vanessa. And you can hear the very last se sentence she said is sometimes I need to listen. Which is, um, really important because it's very faintly and it's like it relates to her listening to glitch traps instructions but anyway uh, let's continue on to CD number six good morning it's good to meet you I've read your files so I'm up to speed on what you and your previous therapists have worked on sure you can have a candy I'll have one too You look chill sitting there like that. Not a care in the world, huh? All right. Well, I'd like to start by talking about your parents. What happened to them and you it was tragic. But when I looked through the notes, I didn't get a sense that you've processed that emotionally. When I read your account of what happened, it came across as, well, more of an objective rather than a subjective narrative. Oh, sorry. You don't know what that means, do you? What I mean is that the way you told the story is more like you were reading something from a book than you were talking about your own past. That makes me think you've cut yourself off from it. Is that right? Not sure? Well, I see in your file that you spend a lot of time by yourself and are good at self-dialogue. You know what I mean? Asking yourself questions and getting answers. So, maybe you should ask yourself how you really feel about your past. Maybe you should give yourself a chance to really look at what happened and let yourself be upset about it. So you can let it go. Alright, so that one relates back to the kid again. So about their parents being tragic, so it could still relate to Gregory. Because his parents are missing and something tragic happened to both him and them. Um... I mean, something like a book is very interesting. Because that might mean that perhaps he really was recounting something from a book. Like, the fact that it's as canon in the universe, guys, I swear. Um, but crackpot theories aside, let's continue on to CD number seven. Hi, Vanessa. Would you like a candy? Butterscotch today. No, thank you. Those have 35 calories apiece. Hmm. Well, they taste good to me. Okay. I thought we could do something today that will help us get to know one another better. It looks like you've never taken an ink blot test, right? No? Okay. Then I'm going to show you some ink blots, like this one. And I want you to tell me the first thing it makes you think of. Here we go. What do you see here? A treehouse. Hmm, it does look sort of like a treehouse, doesn't it? Do you like treehouses? I like to sit outside and read. That's good. Now, what about this one? A beetle. Really? Looks like a face to me. That's very interesting. 
Okay, that one is very interesting because I think it you know, I think it hints at the fact that Blizztrap is taking control over Vanessa. Actually, unlikely. This is just a theory because it shows that Vanessa sort of can't recognize faces and essentially become more uh, like cruel, I guess. The problem is, is that one ending. I think it's the it's a the fire escape ending we did that shows that there's two Vanessas and completely flips everything on its head. So what? No clue. Uh, let's continue on to CD number eight. Have you thought more about what we talked about? In our last session, you told me you were sad and scared about what happened to you. I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did you do that? You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Yeah, so if you could process those feelings, how do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them in the way they are? And that talk about fantasies makes me think again back to FNAF 4. I know whether it's referring to like the nightmares or whether the, the kid was saying the puppets, but it's... The fact that he's not speaking is really interesting. So, um... Something obviously tragic happened to this kid and their parents. Basically, it's not like it's not like the crying child. Could be Michael Afton. I'm not. I've got absolutely like it could literally be anyone. All right. Um. Well, let's move on to scene number nine and see that there was anything new. What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do too. They smell so sweet, don't they? Apparently. The janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Do you ever grow things? No? I work a lot. I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. Do you have a hobby? No? Perhaps we could find one for you. Like a sport. No? Hmm. I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I don't like dark basements. And that's definitely a reference to Curse of Dreadbear ending. Because in the end of the corn maze, you head into a dark basement and find the Vanny mask. So once again, it's hinting that Vanessa and Vanny are the same person. So it's like... Oh. Alright. Let's move on to tape number... 10, I believe. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but I think you already are. It looks like you could take a nap. That's a nice chair, isn't it? According to these message logs, you've been working pretty late over the last couple of weeks. Or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? From what I can see here, the interaction is getting more serious. Is it distracting you from your work? My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. Okay, that's very interesting. So obviously something Vanessa's doing is incredibly important and it's been a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah. I was originally I thought like, hey, it's the she's a security guard, why does she need that? And then I realized, wait, this is talking about the time when she was at the Fazer Entertainment for the special delivery service. I think it's the Fazbear Fun Time service, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's very interesting. So something she does there is a non-disclosure. Um, let's check out CD number 11 then. Good morning, Vanessa. Well, I can't blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? I like the blue sky. Hmm, so do I. Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches, but a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private searching on company time. Is that right? I get breaks. That's true. 
So, on your breaks, it looks like you were shopping for a costume. You purchased some fake fur material. What are you going to make? What was that? Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here or there or anywhere in between. Are you talking about your dad? Have those feelings come up again? I hate sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. I have! I compartmentalized him. He's locked away. No, that's not what I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. You have to face your memory of the experiences and process them so you can let it go. So you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. I don't like doing that. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? Okay, so that city was definitely about... You definitely tell that Vanessa's been influenced by... Um... Glist Trap. She mentioned about being, him being locked away, which definitely proves like the ending to, um... I think what Vanessa did, she essentially locked away Glist Trap in her mind, if we can get rid of him. But it didn't work. Because in the Princess Quest episode, that you haven't seen yet, that you will hopefully see soon, uh, there's a... The final thing you do is open the glitch door from Hell Wanted. The one with the traps like sealed behind. So that's obviously got to do something. So, I, I really like these tapes, they're really cool. Okay, let's move on to CD number 12. I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress, don't you? You can request to come back and speak with me more on your own time, though. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations. I work with individuals and small groups. I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you. Okay, so that tape, that was when Vanessa gets transferred over to the security team. I mean, that's what that, that's got to be about. Because that's all I can gather from it, I think. She's needed somewhere else. Alright, let's move on to tape number 13. When I'm getting to know a new client, I like to start by finding out directly from them what they like to do. How do you spend all the time you have? Nothing. Well, how do you feel about sports? You like sports? Yeah? No? Oh, I get it. You like to watch them, but not play them. You like being inside, don't you? I get that. Lots of weird stuff outdoors, isn't there? Yeah, I understand. Well, I hate to do this right off the bat, but I've been directed to ask you about this. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. And apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. Or, two of them are missing. I don't want to scare you, but I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. That doesn't bother you either? Hmm. It's all pretty strange, I think. I'm not clear on the circumstances. Apparently the police don't have any evidence. How does all of this make you feel? Maybe I should be watching my back. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Okay, shall we move on to something lighter? Okay, that's very interesting. I had a feeling that's what was happening to the therapist. They were just mysteriously disappearing. So I'm pretty sure 
even though Vanessa doesn't speak during it, I'm pretty sure this is this is Vanessa's therapist talking. So obviously, I think she's killing or Vanny is killing off her therapist because they're getting too close to the um the truth of the whole thing. Uh, so let's move on to CD14 and see what that has in store. Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex? I'll take your silence as a yes. And besides, I know you know it, because the technicians who work for Pizzaplex know you. Or rather, I guess it would be better to say that they think they do. They report that they've caught you on camera, or at least it appears to be you. Nothing to say about that? Well, the techs are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. Although, I'll admit I don't see any proof here. Seems like they have more of a gut feeling than fact. But apparently, the hacks are causing all kinds of problems. Hmm. <laughs> you get a kick out of that? The idea of techs running around like chickens with their heads cut off? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny image, isn't it? But seriously, I have to say that I think it's weird that you'd spend so much time in such a busy, social place. You seem like more of a loner to me. Lots of time by yourself instead of with friends. Lots of time talking to yourself, right? Is it the electronics you like? I saw in your file that you have developed software programs that talk to you and repeat phrases, right? The program asks you questions and prompts you for responses. It's kind of like your own self-therapy, isn't it? Another way of talking to yourself to work things out, right? When I saw some of your recent encrypted conversation logs, that's what I thought I was looking at. It felt like I was watching someone go back and forth in their own head. But the text found something that's different than that. When I read what they found, at first, I thought I was looking at more examples of you just talking with yourself. Then I realized it was different. When I study this, it sounds like there is someone else responding to you. Who is it? Okay, so that one sounds like it's referring to Vanny, you know, or Vanessa, because Freddy Fazer's Mega Pizza Box is mentioned for the first time. Yes, yeah, so that's interesting. So, if, and I'm pretty sure it's talking about Vanessa, because Freddy Fazer's Mega Pizza Box is mentioned for the first time, which is hacking to the systems. And this is referring to, like, it might be referring to Gregory, but I don't think he's hacked in. It doesn't make any sense for Gregory to be the one on the thing, so I'm pretty sure it's Vanessa. So anyway, let's play seed number 15, the second last one. I saw some inkblot test results in your file. I like inkblot tests. You want to do one? Yes? Okay. How about this one? What do you see? What? You want to hold it? Okay. You think it's a mask? It reminds you of a mask? Like a disguise? Yeah, I can see that. You like the idea of being disguised? Disguises let you be sort of invisible, don't they? You can get away with almost anything when you're invisible, can't you? Yeah, you like that idea, huh? Well, okay, moving on. I have another report we need to talk about. Apparently, the techs were reviewing communications going in and out of this building, and they came across some interesting things. They say you were in communication with someone, or maybe something. Pretty strange. What do you think about that? Nothing? Well, the techs say it looked to them like it was an attempt to manipulate you, or maybe to lure you somewhere. There. That's better. On this side of the desk, I can see your eyes. The thing is, when I read the communications, I get something different out of them. I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulating. 
No comment? Huh? Okay. Then how about this? I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the pizza plex. That's you, isn't it? I know this image is distorted, but I think it looks like you. And you're not alone here. You're talking to someone or something. It's hard to tell. What are those things? They almost look like rabbit ears. What? You find that amusing? Well, I guess it is. Okay, that one's very interesting. So I figured that all the tapes that have 40, like CD number dash 46, are a different person to Vanessa. So this is the person that Vanessa was communicating, which really doesn't make sense. Because I mean, she's been manipulated someone other than Glitch Trap. Because it's not like Glitch Trap can show up to a therapist and be like, yo, what's up? It has to be someone else. So, oh, it's interesting. So I reckon there's got to be someone else. I don't think it's Gregory, because that doesn't make sense either. I don't even know who could it be, because she's the one, this person is the one infecting all the, they're the one who caused the security breach. So they're obviously doing something. Perhaps it's the higher up that recommended Vanessa. That might make sense. Oh, but then again, the way, I don't know. Anyway, let's play the final tape and see how that goes. Okay, so is it missing? It turns out I'm actually missing the final tape. So I'm going to go get that and then be right back. As it turns out, I actually forgot the most important city of all. Uh, the one in the middle of the atrium. So I just want to got this one. But I think I missed it. So there's our last CD. And uh, I'll see you guys back at the CD player, where we will play it and finish off the episode. Okay, so we're back in the um, we're back in the good old sis location room. Our popcorn, our lamp, our TV, our exotic butters, our everything, and this weird fan thing. It's a fan. Um, with our final CD, so let's play it. See what it says. I got another message from the text at the Pizza Plex. I'm afraid it's about you again. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? Thanks, but it's really not that funny. Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the techs traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch was like a cascade that was broadcasting a very dangerous message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not all that familiar with computer programming, so I might get this wrong, but what I understand is that the glitch stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Those subroutines seem to have come from you. Can you explain that? Listen, I'm on your side here. Our sessions are just between you and me. The techs can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Well, then let's do this. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past, shall we? Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Wanna guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? 
all that stuff about your parents? You aren't even going to look at me? Fine. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that none of what you said in your file about your parents was true. The truth is, you had great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... <clears throat> well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. Why don't we come back to this another day? You're shaking your head as though that's not going to happen. And that's the final tape. Okay, that's very interesting. So right up there, whoever this patient number 46 is, has been lying the whole time. Nothing tragic has happened to them. They're just a big fibber. Uh, they're also the cause behind the security breach. But does that mean, that mean some, someone else besides Afton is pulling the strings? Because Afton can't just pose as a person attending therapy. That's not how that works. He's a glitch robot. So someone, there's like some other evil person here. And we have no clue who it is. So maybe we might see them in on a DLC, I reckon. Or maybe even possibly a sequel to Security Bridge. But either way, I'm very excited to see where this goes. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this thrilling tape content. And this epic lore reveal. We love some lore. Uh, and it's really neat, this location room. Uh, but remember to like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Whenever Princess Quest thing gets patched. Security, that might come a while later. Because I don't know how fast it's going to fix itself. But, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, goodbye.